I was brought up in uh, County Armagh. My people were from County Tyrone, mm. uh, next door, not too far from uh, John Montague's people. Uh, but they they uh, did the uh, they uh, they took the irre irrevocable step of moving into County Armagh. My mother was a school teacher, mm -hmm. and uh, my father was a a labourer and. Uh, I think truck farmer is the term that's mm -hmm. used mostly in this in this part mm -hmm. of the world. Market gardener mm -hmm. uh, is the term used there. And uh, so we moved into an area where we didn't really know very many people actually. In College lands. College lands, an area close to the Moy. Very close to the Moy, which is a yeah, place name that figures in a lot of the poems. Um, but even there, I mean, one's already has a sense of, if not a sense of being burdened with, a sense of certainly uh, the complexities of Irish history because the college in college lands was Trinity College Dublin who owned a tract of land uh, up here in the, in the north of Ireland and so many of the people who lived there would have paid rent to Trinity until probably 1922. So it was a little uh, predominantly Catholic uh, enclave, very close within the parish of Loch Gaul, which is another place name that has huge resonance in uh, the history of Ireland because it was there. The Orange Order. It was there that the Orange Order was founded, and uh, mm -hmm. so um, ev everything was there. Mm -hmm. And uh, even as a child in the 1950s, uh, there was there was quite a lot of activity. Mm -hmm. There was an IRA campaign mm -hmm. in the uh, mid to late 50s, mm -hmm. which uh, people seem to have forgotten about. Mm -hmm. But certainly I remember lots of uh, uh, British Army trucks mm -hmm. uh, moving around, for example. But I was brought up in a household where, while they were Catholic, and while there was, I suppose, at some level, uh, an aspiration to the idea of uh, Ireland being, being one unit, uh, it was not, you know, forced down our throats or anything like that. Mm. We weren't. Uh, that was not meat, the meat and drink of our mm. our household, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. So there was an awareness of it, but uh, at uh, some sort of subliminal level, there was to go back to your question, as much awareness of the exploits of the Lone Ranger and uh, uh, wagon train and uh, rawhide and uh, all the various, uh, the Beverly Hillbillies, <laughs> and all the American... You didn't uh, have TV for a while. Was not for a while, I guess in the mid, we, we got one quite TV. early on, quite, I think we had the second television in, in the area, because we were something else. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, the neighbours would come in to watch television. Mm. Mm. Television was a big influence. Yeah. 